Okay, so I'm gonna measure the saw, Dad. There's a lot of people don't understand the three inch rule when measuring sheep, uh, especially all dad. I'm mainly shooting all dad. And when I tell people the three inch rule, they get a little confused. They don't understand what I'm talking about. So the three inch rule for SCI is method 11, in case anybody's curious. The three inch rule is your pivot point for these horns. I've already measured his left horns. We're gonna measure his right. And I've marked off with some tape, you can see that. The three inch rule is you go up three inches from the base. So you can see that little mark right there and that's gonna be your pivot point. So this is a big sheep, especially for December. But you go from the, you go from the bottom of his horn right here to where the mark is. And that's your pivot point. And you go around the outside curve. So where this sheep has a curve. You're measuring all this. All the way to the end. And this one is 32 and 2 eighths. You have to measure both sides first to get the length. And then you divide the length by four. That gives you your circumference measurements. I've already measured the other side. The other side's longer. And it was uh, 30, 32 and 5 eighths. So we've already marked our quarters off just to make this easier and quicker. So your first mass measurement obviously is gonna be the base. And there can't be any air. So when you put your put your tape around here, let me put it this other way so we can see. It has to stay on horn the whole time. A little, with a little help from some friends, you get it on the horn, and he's 13, and now he's 12 and 7 eighths. So your first mass measurement is the base. It's going to be 12 and 7 eighths. Your second mass measurement is right here. Your first quarter because of the length of his left horn is at eight and eight and three sixteenths. So your first mass measurement, that's at eight and three sixteenths is gonna be 11 and four eighths. Your second mass measurement is gonna be at 16 and 5 sixteenths. So he's nine and seven eighths. And then your third is at 24 and a half. And he is six and five eighths. So then you take all this, all these, add them up. That's your score. So we added this up. It's a big sheet uh, for any time of the year, but for December, it's a phenomenal sheep. Uh, his left side was 73 and 7 eighths. Now, of course, these numbers are green numbers. As you can tell, we just killed him today. Um, so to be officially scored, he has to dry. I believe it's a 60 day drying period, but his, he's real symmetrical. He's 73 and 7 eighths on his left side and he's 73 and an eighth on his right side for a grand total green score of 147. Um, I hope that kind of helps clear up some confusion about the three inch rule, but basically the three inch rule is, all it is is just three inches up from, from where the horns come together. And then that's your pivot point. Your tape goes across here and then along the outside, outside curve of the horn. Get the longest measurement.
and then divide it by four, and then that's that's your score. So hope you all enjoy it. Hope it cleared things up. Hope you like uh, our fancy studio. <laughs> it's cold in West Texas in December, and I'm a South Texas boy, and I don't like cold. So we did it inside, and this is what you get. So have a good one.